Welcome to Channel A Mac, your insight to the Australian Visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube Visa consultant. Are you interested about my great Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on a little bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the inside. Now today's video is all about some news caps. Uh, there is some upcoming information. Well, we assume and we believe there's going to be a lot more news and new policies coming up uh, in June and July because July traditionally will be a new financial year of Australia. And of course, the new government, the Anthony Albanese administration, has putting all the places and Minister Andrew Giles is in place. And there's so many news, so many craps required to be fixed up. So we got, we're going to bring you two news articles uh, which totally reflect to my previous video in regards how the former government have fucked up the system. Uh, now it's official. They make it official because it's public in the public media, in the news. Let's have read what they say and see how the, uh, the current minister, Andrew Giles, is going to react to it. Now, first of all, let's get you into some news update in regards to some state nominations so um i'm in this uh, migration alliance which is the industry body for the australian migration agents uh and as you can see the there's a new um legislation that's for um new zealand family relation that's putting uh, place into an online application rather than paper because it used to be paper can you believe it 2022 still lodging application and there are still some application required to be lodged by paper anyhow they're making it more electronically now now the most important thing is that we oh south australia south australia is closing their migration program of the financial year well that's fine because i don't think there's not there's there, there's still many uh invites anymore because the former government just didn't give enough quarter as we have spoke uh, previously and discussed previously in our channel if you have followed at my channel long enough you know over the past two years well i've um, pointed out a lot of issues now they couldn't address it they did not care to fix it so i think that's one of the major reasons they lost the elections Anyway, we are in a new government era, so I believe that in the coming July will be a very fruitful uh, and very um, good future for any migrants want to go to Australia. So Tasmania, same thing now. Tasmania, huge backlog currently assessing application lodge in mid-December. Goodness. I mean, it's June. It's almost July and they are still assessing application back in December last year. Come on, we, we need more quota, we need more manpower, we need more human resources. Anyway, that's just showing that how the backlog had caused a problem. Now, what is the cost of this all this backlog? Of course, it's not enough quota. So the Conservative Party or Liberal Party, the former government, Scott Morrison, well, seems to be the, they did not really listen to the public, did not really listen to the industry body. So creating a lot of problems as you can see uh the the new government just came in the treasurer um and the uh, prime minister the new prime ministers came in addressed a lot of issue have been created by the former government uh which back then they were saying they were all putting out the great and beautiful figures uh to show the australian public but obviously uh if you follow my channel long enough you notice the australian pu australian public uh, Australian people are not dumb. They can see, they can feel, they understand what is lie and what is truth. So it's time to get it fixed. Now, um, I've chatted about this in my previous video. Now, obviously, now I think it's going public, official, in the news. So there are two news. Let's have a look what they are all about. Now, first one coming from Independent Australia. Skill migration, business want the benefit but not the burden so this is uh from the previous um the abo Rismi. Uh, it used to be a former uh, official from uh, immigration and self department so 8th of june which is well today right okay very good let's have a look what this says so i 
the the overall um, content of this news basically says the same thing as what I have said last in my video last week so due to decline in skilled temporary visa ho uh, holders business lobby group and asking government to recruit skilled migrant well they did that for the past two years obviously a p pandemic hit Australia hit the entire world uh, and how Australia should respond to such economy crisis well if we look back the histories migrants skill migrant is the key however the former government did not really listen they believe they can actually hold the strong line and anyway they have put everything into trouble so skill tem uh, skill temporary entry uh, whenever modern, uh, modern Australia has faced severe skill shortage we have seen the use of skill temporary entry as an old 457 482 which is all the information we have discussed previously to fall back the labor uh, labor market weakens uh, the visas manage on demand driven basis it is unaffected by any limit number of places per migration program it can usually be granted much more quicker uh, than permanent uh, skill visa and hence a traditional way found favor by Australian employee uh, however the former government had changed all that um, basically a lot of people are under 485 still waiting for their visa employee do not need to wait for any action or strong government after a period of employing these temporary skilled migrants in Australia employer can subsequently uh, sponsor them for permanent migration the charter show below and as you can see this is for the employee visa it goes downwards now obviously there is no doubt about the COVID during 2020-21 however it's still going to train I mean uh, the the population of Australia did not uh, diminished they still need that demand <clears throat> and, the, and and the nation of Australia re requires more manpower to actually well, I mean skilled professionals uh, but it's just going to decline and that has caused a lot of problem obviously the former government said well but the unemployment rate is very low yes of course but there's not enough people to go into jobs and that's a problem the initial decline from 2014 due to sharp weakening of the labor market from Abbott government now Abbott government is the former liberal government that's the first prime minister uh, under liberal uh, so to, as you can see well they are doing some adjustments however with time goes on for nine years these adjustments continuing to go down had caused severe damage to uh, to become a debt and deficit disaster the decline accelerated by the minister of border protection peter dunn wow now that's a huge accusation now peter dunn is formally the leader of the opposition now well he i i said that in my previous video he abolished the old 457 scheme um, and also a lot of other things like regional uh, migration scheme as well and cause a lot of problem and decrease of the annual intake quota also cause a lot of problem there was not some suggest the name change that may Australian skilled temporary visa internationally uncompetitive in the world here we go I mean uh, well it's about time to say say this thing I mean I, I, I've been telling people about this for the past two years obviously I'm not an official I'm not working in the government I don't have that kind of um, uh, effectiveness to actually connect to a lot of people but anyway it's now official here we go it was a classic case of done again shooting Australia in the foot Wow, well, that's a very big accusation the decline of skill temporary visa holder of strike continued during pandemic uh, so the Morrison government continued to allow entry of skill visa holder who will need during pandemic for example nurses when international border reopened in December last last year a business lobby group cries out for more people however look at this is still going downwards obviously this is still cause on the public um, health uh, issue due to pandemic but didn't they say they're gonna open all the borders back in December even though Omicron is still going around but how have they fixed it while well, 9825 offshore skill temporary visa were granted in January and March they're still down the past compared to this number 19,000 back in 2011 and 12 so what we can what we expect with the new government the Labour government is they will uh, pull the number back 
to where it was and also increase a bit more year by year a skilled temporary visa grant in 2021-22 uh, end of march was 20,988 now compare back to 2019 that's like you know less than half <laughs> look at that astonishing more skilled temporary entrant left australia more and more people fell it's um they, they they're just they had enough of these nine years there's people a lot of people left australia a lot of talents left australia and that is the fact so what's going to be in the future increasing skill stream of permanent migration rather increased usage of skill visa already available business lobby guru continue to pressure government to increase the skill stream that means increase annual intake or migraine uh, and that is very welcome i think that will be the good one is that clear uh they're going to be two hundred thousand, but i think what's going to happen in the future uh it's definitely going to be a lot more than what we have seen whether or not the the new minister of, um of immigration andrew giles is going to do anything just at the time of the new financial year to actually increase the annual intake from 160,000 to something that is more um, suitable, uh, more reasonable uh, in reflect to the current situation of Australia's economy and as a nation. So anyway, there's a lot, lot more data showing how uh, Peter Dutton and the former government, Scott Morrison, has really fucked up the system. An over -mi migration of 200,000 will require skill stream of 150,000 or an increase of 70,000 more of the original planning and we're going to see the next news how they're going to stress it uh given the unwillingness of employment significant increase of user temporary and sponsored visa the main feeder group and permanent employer sponsored visa there will be only two possible way to deliver such increase so state government coming in hand however we see the problem with the quarter that the state government has they they, they are limited they're limited to the quota that they have uh, in compared to the traditional employment sponsor. Remember back in, I don't know, two or three videos ago, uh, I mentioned about the pre-liberal uh, government uh, that's back in not 10 years ago, the employment sponsor visa was uncapped, meaning that any employer needs a skilled worker they are able to get people in as quick as possible so they can start they can turn the turbine on and the the economy the finance will go on uh, however the the former government has actually turned that turbine off make it more expensive make it more uh, complex in way i again very unreasonable to have an employer to put three job advertisements it just doesn't make any sense anyway the government reduced past modern point test skill independent category however while that is feasible a very large reduction of past mile will be needed to deliver numbers of business and lobby good wants so they want more that means that means currently a lot of people are looking for 90 hundred eoi points that may be dropped in the future so i think that's a good news for everybody uh and more lobby groups appear to prefer government bring skilled migrants through these mechanisms rather than their member or recruiting skilled migrants directly from overseas that is uh all given uh yeah that's correct because you, you if you don't know the guy you haven't met the guy you don't know how good he is how do you employ him while he's overseas it's, it's just very hard to do that so you need you need to get this skilled migrant on board unsure uh, perhaps a graduate from international student so you know the people you meet them and you employ them and let them stay and that's the key if government can bring lots of more um independent skilled migrants employer can pick and choose uh and, and that's the key that's the key that's the key from growing again back from international education so making things back to the original plan rather than restricting a lot of international students not allowing them or not allowing state government to have enough uh, quota to actually nominate you look at tasmania they're still assessing people back in december what's happening because they get limited number of um uh, quota to be used and numbers of other states have already stopped and closed their um state nomination because they don't have enough number give, give provided from the federal government this approach shifts the risk away from employer, can avoid cost, 
that's very true because currently the employer is going to spend easily about 20,000 Australian dollars to actually go through all the legal visa, professional services, all the government costs and receiving an enormous crazy delay on the visa processing we're gonna see that in the next news that we're gonna have to share with you uh, if there's a sudden downturn in the labor market such risks become extreme and which had already become uh, obviously because of the COVID-19 pandemic and that had caused a lot of problem now let's jump into the next news which I'm gonna share with you it came out this morning as well cut visa processing time home affairs told business complain of shortage of workers so it's the same thing so this is this is currently official in the australian media okay so uh, federal official has been told that uh, an act on an extraordinary backlog here we go backlog no one talked about backlog back last year or the year before but now look at the backlog it's crazy right I, we I, i've shown you in the my previous video video going into the um, the processing global processing uh web page that I published for immigration visas a lot of them is like crazy timings like 50 months 30 months and things like that i mean who's gonna migrate to some place knowing that you might not get any result in the next three years you won't do that right okay um so cannot find solution to chronic labor shortage with expert warning that great luck in the visa system incoming so the new government uh, have put backlog on top of their agenda which is very very good uh, and the, uh, the way to solve backlog again i think there's only one way increase the migration intake number because increase more number then you can solve the backlog how you need to check the number we, we gotta have the numbers for you in this news later on so if we have a look at here official figure shows that number of skill foreign workers leaving Australia exceeding number coming into Australia so what happened is the immigration minister Andrew Giles has asked the Department of Home Affairs to act problem with priority which is very very good and look at the backlog and look at the numbers of 482 visa holders well we thought 482 visa holder was with some occupation under the priority occupation whatever the list they created however there's still backlog there why because the procedural problem to nominate someone you know how difficult that is you gotta put three job ads waiting for 28 days and you need to pay all the Australian skill uh, skilling fund and all that and then waiting for another backlog and then they're gonna come back with all the requests the procedure is too complex they need to simplify that uh, so how are they gonna do it uh, let's wait and see the extraordinary delay on processing of visa application has been raised by the community with the former Liberal government for many years, Zhao said the responsive question uh, for uh, under the um, uh, uh, Sydney Morning Herald and the age process outstanding visa application is a priority of visa government Australian government. I have raised my concern the current status of visa processing with Department of Home Affairs. We're committed to ensure that they will be done and processed in timely manner, which is very good. I'm very welcome in this news article and this decision and this. Um, public appearances of the uh, Minister of Immigration. So again, Abu Rizvi, the former Deputy Secretary of Department of uh, Immigration said the public data has shown uh, there are 300,000 people under bridging visa and waiting. Now that is crazy. Nine years of Liberal government, governing the nation of Australia created 300,000 bridging visa. That means backlog. So how do we solve 300,000 if we only have a migration into 160,000? So of course the answer will be a lot more increase on migration intake to resolve this. I'll see what how that will go. Okay, so anyway, let's go down to here. Let's talking about the recent numbers of people entering into Australia and leaving Australia. They're still in a negative figure. Uh, had more 195 skilled temporary visa holding Australia in 2014. Now we are halved. We are halved. Less people coming in. Well, obviously the former government will say the unemployment rate is rate is low. Uh, but the problem is not enough skilled workers. You see that that's the problem. Now this statement is the key here. 
Prime Minister Anthony Albanese acknowledged the problem public remarks in Jakarta and he said he believed Australians should be more welcoming. I think this statement is very, very important. Australia should be more welcoming. Again, it's it, it's an uh, initiative that we can see the next three or five years will be the great window period of time for the migrants to come into Australia. Anyway, um, again, it's all talking about the uh, backlog and the Australian Chamber of Commerce industry, which has uh, appeared at, uh, in numerous medias talking about all this, talking about this excessive costs and used to be 10,000 to file an employment sponsor visa. Now it's costing 25,000 on the 482. That's a huge major issue. I've talked about this for the past two years. Uh, finally, it's officially out there and everybody will know about it in this media news. So I think the that's the end of this news. I think it will be very good. So today's visa news updates, it's all about we can see these official news came out uh, from official media in Australia. Obviously, it's a key point where they will, uh, the government of Australia, the new government of Australia under the Albanese administration will start forming a new policies to enhance a better visa program for Australia and to help the problem of the economy after in, in a post pandemic era. Now, should you have more question query, more than welcome to leave a comment right down below. And I see you next video. Goodbye.